In today's world and living dynamics, the biggest roles in reflection of preserving our planet have the ecology and the eco-awareness. We have several eco-factors, but the following three are the most important. That they act in complexity as a whole, continuously are changing in time and space, and are mutually conditional. They are further divided on several more systems. Therefore, the human himself began to monitor that condition and find a manner to benefit from it to have a better life. Also one of the elements is the green economy. Green economy is that economy which should promote the human standard and achieve social equality as element for sustainable development. In that view, we define the social equality as equal opportunity for all within safe and healthy surroundings. The green economy makes the nature as a resource and human as a manager of the resource equals. We can derive the term green business from that. The word itself means that the new green vacancies are easily achievable. Those vacancies cover things which help preserving the ecosystem and biological diversity, reduced energy consumption, decreased carbon consumption and decreased production of types of waste and pollution. The reality shows that these green vacancies are the answer for the increasing problem which is closely related to the climate change, unreasonable exploitation of resources, and today this presents an opportunity for decreasing the issue of unemployment and competitiveness in the economy. Anyone can start a green business and the start is the same as with any other business. But the green entrepreneur is facing with additional challenges. He should first identify valuable green product or service which can be recognized as a green product on the market. Pakomak is the first company in Macedonia for managing packaging waste. It was established in November 2010 before the law on managing packaging waste became effective in January 2011. For more than four years now, almost five, we can say that there were over 750 companies from Macedonia as our clients. In terms of the packaging waste, we make sure the biggest part of the waste will be recycled. What are the basic functions? Actually, Pekomak has three basic functions. First, to increase the communal infrastructure in the municipalities throughout Macedonia. This means to place more containers in cooperation with the municipalities for separation of waste such as plastics, paper, glass, etc. One of the benefits from the separation of waste is for the people not to place that waste in the communal waste containers but to separate the packaging waste. Instead of those 150,000 tons which are currently deposited, we estimate at least 15% decrease of that quantity. So around 20,000, 30,000 additional tons will be separated for recycling. Green businesses come in all shapes and sizes. Organic vegetables running a restaurant that serves only locally grown produce, from making or distributing environmentally friendly products to manufacturing biofuels and generating energy from renewable sources. There is no broadly accepted standard definitions for a green job and a green business. In order to be seen as a green business, the business should match the following four criteria. To incorporate the principles of sustainability into each of its business decisions. The business supplies environmentally friendly products or services that replace demand for non-green products and services. The business is greener than traditional competition in its production and delivery of products and services. The business has an enduring commitment to environmental principles in its business operations. For example, recycling means processing of used materials to obtain new products. This process prevents loss of materials, decreasing consumption of new raw materials, decreasing energy consumption and reduces air and water pollution. Recycling is an important component in modern waste decrease. Many types of paper, metal, glass, plastics, textile and electronics are being recycled. Almost 50% of the waste reproduced can be recycled. The recycling sign has three arrows which symbolize the three stages, collecting, processing and reuse. Which are the future benefits from all this? It reduces the carbon dioxide emissions, pollution, natural resources are being used efficiently, improves quality of living, prevents loss of biodiversity, supports the social equality, provides real economic growth, tends towards decrease of poverty and environmental risk, 
influence on eliminating negative ecological consequences and opening new vacancies. The garbage trucks are first measured, the quantity of waste is measured, and afterwards they are directed towards the landfill site, that's the place where the waste will be unloaded. Then the adequate treating is performed, depending on the waste we have appropriate treating. The waste treating depends on the type of waste which is brought to us. There are several types of waste brought to us for now. First the communal waste from the public utility enterprise, they collect it from the city of Skopje and then it is brought to us. We have food products, a waste mostly made by companies engaged in food making activities and these are mostly expired products. Despite the food products, we have technological products, waste from companies brought to us and this is done on the basis of previously concluded agreement. We also have construction waste, which can also be brought by natural person, people who renovate their homes and all of that is appropriately treated in Drisla. Drisla landfill still only has waste disposal, however, two years ago the public enterprise transformed it to a limited liability company when the public enterprise was given under concession for 35 years. Modernization of the landfill is envisaged with the conclusion of that agreement and that means that the new plants will be installed. That will be waste selection plants, but also there will be plants for treatment of industrial waste, which may be hazardous and non-hazardous. All these installations will process the waste and that the waste will produce new material which can be reused. We treat the construction waste by selecting the iron and other materials which may be sold and reused. The communal waste will go through the same process where we will have secondary selection by a separate installation. If it is well known that the planet Earth has 13.13% agricultural land, 4.71% permanent crops, 26% permanent pasturages, 30% forests and rainforests, 3.5% urban areas and 30% remaining things of all its resources. There are resources on Earth that are being exploited for various reasons by people. Some of them cannot be renewed, such as fossil fuels, because they were created during another geological period from the decomposing plants and animals. Those fossil fuels are made of coal, oil, natural gases and methane. People use those resources to produce energy as raw materials in the chemical production. Here we can also include the mineral ores which resulted from erosion and tectonic plates. The Earth biosphere produces many useful biological products for humans such as food, wood, drugs, oxygen and recycling of many types of organic waste. The land ecosystem depends on the surface and fresh water while the ocean ecosystem depends on the dissolved nutrients which end there from the land. By violating these two ecosystems, the overall ecosystem of the planet Earth is being violated. The human activities also reflect on the long-term climate change and in the most part with the industrial emission of carbon dioxide. Having in mind these activities, we expect changes such as widening of the ozone hole, breaking of the Arctic ice, bigger temperature variation, significant climate changes and global rising of sea level. Recycling is a process of processing products found in waste which serve as raw materials for manufacturing new products, types of plastics and their recycling. Before recycling, the plastic is grouped according to identification codes, symbols that were developed in 1998. The symbols used for identification of plastics are made of three arrows turning clockwise in a triangular form and in the middle of the triangle there is a number and underneath there is a marking for the type of plastic. This is the Totovers landfill near Chakovets. Here the waste is deposited where in this abandoned forest the waste goes in underground water. The entire process does not start from the line but with the education of the people. 
They have black buckets for communal waste, grey bucket for white degradable waste and seven types of plastic bags for different types of waste. Regarding the waste that comes from the recycling, we first open the bags, empty them in buckets which are later lift to selection lines. Afterwards the workers select the waste using a primitive method by hand, but efficient one. The dirt and the type of plastics which does not go for bowling are separated. We have one small selection machine, long about 4 meters, which is automatically connected with another selection machine from 3 to 4 meters, which automatically is connected with a bailing machine. There are 6 workers on the site and additional 7 to 8 workers who are sorting and bailing the plastic waste, paper, glass, metal and all those fractions of the collection waste. The type of plastic that is most present, it is put in the baling machine which does the baling and tying at the same time and then it is took outside from the premises by a forklift which stacks in the same order as it is selected. Then it is loaded on trailers, trucks or ship containers and brought to the processing plants. The compost is also known as a brown fertilizer, an organic matter which can be degraded with aerobing. It is used in gardening, horticulture and agriculture for feeding the soil as a fertilizer. The compost serves as growing agent or porous absorbent, which keeps the moisture and dissolves the minerals by protecting process of plants, sometimes it is necessary for the compost to be milder. This is done by adding soil. Due to reduction of the salinity, neutralizers are added in order the pH value to reach 7, or as a supplement of the fertilizer, moisture agents and minerals that improve the drainage such as sand, shavings, vermiculite or better known as hydrosilicates, clay granules, etc. We have two different examples on how we get compost, how it is done in the public enterprises and how it is produced at home individually. Our garden is called Bernarda's garden or officially Gradinata na Bernarda. I started this 25 years ago in a time when my nephew got sick. I wanted to produce the best food for him and that is why I started producing organic food. We do not use fresh fertilizers. This means that when you have cattle, most people use that as a fresh fertilizer on the fields. Regardless if the fertilizer is with organic waste, straws, hay, leaves and as you can see pitrit apples, we put all that into compost. This is the real thing when we fertilize the fields. Because the fermentation ends in the compost. If fresh fertilizer is used, then the possibility for the plants to have parasites is higher. We add more elements in the production and we collected it in greenhouses and batches. The compost may be produced faster and the entire procedure may gain on speed. However, we add feathers from our poultry to our compost or we acquire cow droppings. The layers are put on 5 cm from the fertilizer or 20 cm from the organic waste. When the compost is ready, we crush it and throw it on the field. Nevertheless, this is a high-quality fertilizer because it has those five healing ingredients from the plants which are prepared on a specific manner and the process of the healing plants is degrading. We also produce other products which we later spray our seedlings with. We continuously learn and monitor the instructions which we obtain from 11 international institutes throughout the world that help us. So people who have grey buckets put the biodegradable waste in them. They can deposit up to 2 meters cubic of trees, branches, leaves and grass from their yards free of charge but also more by paying. When the waste is brought to this location it is just branches which are left until they are broken into small pieces. This is done by a subcontractor but what is already a small piece that goes directly into the compost and it is stirred until it moisturizes and wets. We have a ready to use compost which can be further used for a time period of 3 to 6 months. Fuel 
gases are usually divided according to the following. Manner of production, according to the physical and chemical properties. According to the manner of production, the gases are derived to gases from coal, gases from oil, gases directly obtained from the earth natural, gases produced as a byproduct of different chemical processes. The gas obtained directly from the earth is a natural gas or so-called earth gas. Its composition is changeable, but it is mostly methane. Gases which are obtained as byproducts in various chemical processes are blast furnace gas, waste gas. These gases are mainly used as energy fuel in the processes which they are created in. From all gases previously mentioned, the following are mostly used. The natural, city and liquid petroleum gas. Here is an example of production of natural gases. Yes, I'm Arben Abdurrahman. I am Arben Abdurrahimi, born in the village of Selce Tetova. My father moved to the village of Trebosh when I was one year old. I work in the village of Trebosh until the age of 16. And I moved to Germany at that age. There I got my education, I worked and learned only 11 years later to decide to move back to my birthplace and invest. The raw materials for our chickens are put here. Then they are moved to the silos by underground lines which the chicken food is mixed according to a recipe and automatically all of that goes to the poultry. Completely closed system. The liquid products enter through the pipe and here the recipe is done. Here we have 400 cubic meters, one fermentation machine and a hydrolysis. Here the product is manufactured and mixed. Then it goes in every fermentation machine when needed and there the product process of biogas began. This is the end of the process. Methane gas is separated from the substances that ferment in the fermentation machines and it is used for production of electrical energy and heat. The excess quantity is held up there and the substance comes through this pipe and the hard substance and water are mechanically separated. The water goes in these pressured kettles and vaporizes at 60 degrees and then it's converted to liquid that is distilled water. This is the control room where the electrical engineer and the mechanical engineer are situated. They control the entire process, how the plant is working, the current production, the quantity of electrical energy and the distribution on the network. This is also controlled by a camera so the working process can be monitored visually. Here we have the next process, transport of the material. This is when it is transported from one silo to another and how much of the material is being fermented. So the entire process downstairs is how the material is being transported. These are special pumps which draw and transport that kind of material. This is the control box for the motor that produces energy. This shows the hot water methane percentage of methane or air and like. So this is hot water, with this quantity we can accommodate 1000 houses with heating. Biogas plants only produces energy, that is the last thing, but near future we will ecologically clean our region with the biogas plant. This means that the entire waste is collected, fermented, processed and at the end it is quantity biofertilizer for the plants, our surrounding and yards. Aziri uses the services of the Green Business Incubator and together with his mentor he works on development of a business plan for production of pellets. The idea to start his own business emerged when he was working for his uncle who manufactures furniture and did not know what to do with the waste. On the meeting organized by the Roma Business Center he was informed that if they have ideas for green businesses they can get help in preparation of a detailed business plan so he applied with his idea. His idea was chosen and now he's working on its business plan with the team. I am Aziri Shevket and I work with panel furniture and we produce a lot of shavings. It is our goal those shavings to be recycled and make our business plan. 
Although there are different types of briquettes, this term usually refers to wooden briquettes. Briquettes have the same composition, they are made of wood but there is a big difference in their size. Although the size of the briquettes varies, there are not envisaged standards and laws on this in the most countries. The briquettes may have different sizes and forms, they can be as big as logs and even bigger. They do not contain much moisture, 10% maximum, which they need to keep their shape. The wooden material used for their production is usually the waste material from the wooden industry. There is an increasing number of plants that turn the fresh woods into briquettes and this shows the increased financial profitability of this fuel. The wood used for production of briquettes varies, so some manufacturers use oak, ash tree, horn beam and white polar, while others use fir tree and juniper. The manufacturers are obligated to unify their norms with the norms of the country in which they export. It is to manufacture briquettes with heating value and dimension requested in that country. The manufacturing process of briquettes is similar to the process of manufacturing pellets, which we already explained. This means that basically the needed raw materials to manufacture briquettes should be chopped to certain dimensions in order to be fit for further pressing. In order to have quality and strong briquette from stores, we need specific pressure from 350 kilos per centimeter square at minimum. Sometimes this pressure goes up to 700 kilos per centimeter square. Regarding the manufacturing of briquettes from wooden shavings, those wooden shavings must be dry 10% optimally. The prism-shaped briquettes showed to be more stable from the cylindrical briquettes. And at the end, the heating power of the final briquettes. It ranges from 5 to 18 mJ per kilo. In comparison, the calorie value of the wood is around 17.8 mJ per kilo and 10% moisture. One of the most efficient manner to use the biomass is to process it in order to get pellets. Pellets are far more superior as a fuel compared to all other remaining energetic materials. In comparison, they are not only better in terms of their overall properties, but also economically speaking. Pellets are the cleanest proven manner of heating. They have number of advantages such as high calorie value. One ton of pellets is equal to one and a half ton of trees, but they take less than a third of the space the trees would have taken. They are easy to handle given the special burners that are almost completely automatic, cost-effective, easy to trigger, minimal maintenance. There are no resins compared to the wood and a lot smaller quantity of ash. The pellets are CO2 neutral, thus improving the quality of the fuel. The pellets are one type of high-quality biofuel. Basic raw materials for production of pellets are Wooden leftovers created in the wood processing process Crop leftovers from agriculture and parts of vines and fruits Also forest waste in a form of branches can be used for producing of pellets The forest waste is especially interesting due to the quality of the raw material as well as it easy to collect Mobile highly efficient choppers are used throughout the world for this purpose Regardless which raw material you will use for production of pellets, or combination of these raw materials, they must go through the same technological process. This means that once the raw materials is collected, it must be chopped and put in the rotation dehydrator. The pelleting process especially means compressing of the biomass under high pressure, thus the particles and pieces of biomass are compressed in molds in order to, for the pellets to be obtained. These products have significantly smaller volume compared to the original form of the biomass and according to that, they also have much more concentrated energetic potential, higher content of energy in a volume unit, which makes them more compact sources of energy. This facilitates the transport and storage in comparison of the biomass in its natural state, at the same time enabling their efficient burning. Having in mind the large number of factors which influence the economic justification of energy consumption from different sources, it is much difficult for one to give an exact evaluation on which energy source is the best in certain conditions. 
Starting your own business can be an exciting and rewarding experience. It can offer numerous advantages such as being your own boss, setting your own schedule and making a living doing something you enjoy. But becoming a successful entrepreneur requires throughout planning, creativity and hard work. Consider whether you have the following characteristics and skills commonly associated with successful entrepreneurs. Comfortable with taking risks. Independent. Persuasive. Able to negotiate. Creative. Business incubators nurture the development of entrepreneurial companies and help them to survive the startup period when they are the most vulnerable and of course help them to expand their business. Business incubators provide their client various services and resources necessary in the period when these companies are still young. These services and resources include assistance in managing, planning and financial aid. The unemployment rate among the Roma population in Macedonia is double than the national average and it is 70 to 80 percent. This evaluation is carried out on the basis of the assessment of the non-government sector that not all Roma are registered in the employment service agencies and that over 70 percent of the Roma families are social welfare beneficiaries. Some studies on the vulnerable groups show that only 3.8% of the working age Roma population, above the age of 15, are employed or self-employed in the formal or grey economy, as well as that only 7.2% of the Roma population from this age group are full-time employed. With different words, one full-time employed Roma person should provide for around 30 other people. The same study establishes that 68% of the employed Roma population are workers with low qualifications. The business incubator provides information for the Roma population in terms of the green businesses and that is in our focus. Hundreds of people visit the municipality on a daily basis and by communicating with them on a regular basis we give them leaflets and brochures. We just printed out a brochure for starting a green business so we help them to learn what green business is and how they can use the potential of the resources provided by the municipality to start a green business. We in the municipality of Shuto Rizari have several green enterprises and we encourage them to work to continue and strengthen their capacities. We work non-stop with new potential businessmen, that is people who want to invest in green businesses. It is a great pleasure to work on this kind of project for development of green ideas which can be transferred into specific business plans. I think that this practice should continue and more ideas to be supported, not just the 10 we are working on at the moment. What I would like to say is that is an issue we are facing with the planning and process is lack of financial means for the starting green businesses by Roma population users of our services. I think that more attention should be devoted to that and ways should be found how to financially support the green ideas especially for the vulnerable groups, in this case the Roma population. From a historical point of view, there is a close correlation between the economic growth and ecological degradation. As the communities grow, the environment gets worse. Because both theoretically and practically, it is impossible to increase the use of resources infinitely, the benefits from reducing the waste include saving on costs. The energy efficiency may also increase the profit by decreasing the expenses. The economic moment immediately takes place. Expanding of the opportunities for the sustainable businesses that can lead to creating new vacancies and economical independence for the most vulnerable categories by reducing the poverty and social exclusion in the country. To summarize, we can conclude that the human factor is a generator for success of the business incubators. Although the state, in most cases, should additionally encourage and support the business incubators, the specific results of the operating of the incubators are measurable but not right away than in a period of about 10 years. <laughs>